Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you are new here, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to me. So today I'm going to take you on a stable tour. This question's come up quite a lot recently on TikTok and on Instagram and it's had a bit of a clean so it's looking a lot better and today I'm going to show you it all. So, so come with me. So this is our picture wall when you first come in. <laughs> okay, and then shall I stand like... So as you can see, there's quite a lot of pictures up and most of this wall is when I was a pony rider. So this was Addington CDI, we won that year, so that was 2011, so a long time ago now. This was... 2013 Pony European, so I don't know if you can see me here. And then this is Phoebe Peters, Rose Hugh Smith and Rebecca Bell, all of us looking very baby-faced. Um, we were British Pony Champion in 2010. I'd definitely say 2010 was quite a good year for us. <laughs> so here's a little tribute to my old pony Danny Boy. He did pass away a few years ago, so this is just such a nice thing to remember when we walk through the door, because he took me to my first Europeans and he was just a total legend some of the plaques that I won over the years at internationals and then this massive one here is from my first ever Pony Europeans in 2010 so I was only 12 so yeah this is up because it's quite a nice reminder <laughs> so I'm going to show you our tack room next in here just In, you can see all the bridles lined up nicely. We have a lot more than we use, but most equestrians will have a few spares. So, who have we got? This is Sunny's bridle, which was also Danny's back when I was riding ponies. Sunny has such a small head that he can fit into Danny's pony bridle. Um, this is some of the sashes that we won over the years. So. Oh, I always have a special love for sashes because you don't get them very often. So I used to think you hadn't done well if you hadn't got a sash. <laughs> this is my tail coat. So it does normally live in a bag, but I thought we'd uh, show you this. These are all the saddles. So this is Sunny's saddle. This is, I think this was Billy's. This is Teddy, the new horse's jumping saddle. So, I've not had a jumping saddle in here for a long time. We have quite a few spare saddles over there that aren't used, as you can tell. And here, this is a dry rug. So, this is mini size one. So, this is for Blackjack the Shetland. Oh, it's going to be so cute to try on him. Coming forward. So, here we've got a big set of cupboards. And in this cupboard, this is the saddle pad cupboard. So these are all our black heart saddle pads. We've got some jumping ones, some dressage, we like color order here. And these are all spare white ones from the competition times. <laughs> and this one here is where we keep the hats, spurs, just bits and bobs. This one does need another little organized, but haven't got around to that just yet. As you can see, I have a lot of hot pink vet wrap. It's my favourite colour. And I use vet wrap for everything. So I'm going to do an equestrian hacks video soon where I feature the vet wrap and I show you what I use it for. So these are just some pictures again. We've got pictures everywhere in here. And this is Badger. This is before I did my first Europeans, 2009, at Home International. <laughs> So as you can see, there's a lot of rosettes up on the wall. So they're not all mine, some were my mum's because she used to compete as well, but the good rosettes are up at the house on a wall, <laughs> the big ones. But yeah, it's a nice collection from over the years. <laughs> so next I'm gonna show you our feed room. So come on in. <laughs> so this is where we store all the kind of daytime rugs so these are all the ones we use in the field in the stable at the minute we've not been putting so many rugs on at the minute because it's so warm but this is where they live and it's just had 
nice clear out and this is as neat as it gets. <laughs> so we have all like bits like the Pessoa, lunge line, etc. for Equisage. Here we have like a form of medicine cabinet. So all the bits and bobs you would need. And then this is the feed. So we have the alfrey oil or chop. We have some nuts and we use top spec ulcer kind as well with all of the horses. They all get a nice basic feed. So should we go meet the horses? Hi Sunny. So this is Sunny. <laughs> Hi mister. Yeah, he's looking a little bit grumpy because he's currently in the middle of a nap. <laughs> I think we'll leave him to that. So outside of every stable, we have the horses' boot bags. They all have a specific bag of boots, so we don't mix them up. They've got their nighttime feed. And you can see these blue bags, and we use blue bags rather than hay nets because we like to encourage our horses to eat off the floor. It helps them stretch, and it's good for their back and their muscles overall. Oh, now you've come to say hi. Hello. So this is Sunny. I'm going to do a Meet the Horses vlog soon, so I won't go into too much detail, but hopefully you recognise Sunny. This is Teddy. Hi, Ted. This is our new boy, my new little show jumper, Teddy. He's very, very sweet. This is Billy. Billy's also in the middle of a nap. <laughs> So in every stable we have shavings. We prefer shavings to straw, but that's just personal preference. And we also have rubber matting. <laughs> so he's eaten most of his hay lunch today. I'm gonna top him up soon. But Billy's recently been rubbing his mane. We think he's been getting sweet itch from the midges. So we've just got him a new spray. So if his mane's looking a little bit sparse, <laughs> that's why. So all of our stables have, <laughs> have this way of closing and this way of opening and it's a lot easier because they can't let themselves out. I mean, Sonny manages to get out God knows how sometimes, but luckily all he'll do is eat everyone else's dinner. <laughs> Obviously we don't have favourites, but if we did, I think it would be this little guy. Hello. <laughs> this is Blackjack. He's our mini Shetland and he's not been with us that long, but he, oh, he's the cutest little thing on the planet, aren't you? Aren't you? So he's actually a stallion and has 10 babies. 10. You've been a busy boy, haven't you? <laughs> he gets the tiniest nighttime feed because we hate for him to feel left out, so look at the size of that. <laughs> look at his little feed. And he starts rearing up for it at night because he just loves his snacks. He's a little chunky. <laughs> oh, he wants his feed. So now I'm going to take you out the back and show you the horse walker, the field, and I'm going to show you Artie and Lola who are living out at the minute. So. So these are our back paddocks and if they are well behaved they're allowed out here. Sonny had to graduate from the turnout pen to one of these fields because he was being a naughty boy but this is Lola, hello. She's my mum's horse and I have done some junior competitions on her but she's living out at the minute. So I, I don't know if you can see but up in the top field that is Artie who is my little baby horse and I'm absolutely in love with him but he's living out at the moment as well because it's such nice weather. Hi honey. This is our horse walker and the horses mostly go on it once a day just, just for fitness and Sonny doesn't go on it because he gets a bit fresh but most of the horses go on it once. We try not to do too much of this because we don't want any repetitive strain injury but it is good exercise. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the turnout pen now and this is where we started turning Sonny out because 
dressage horse is, as we know, a very highly strung. But Sonny could not be trusted when he went outside. He would always just leap around and we just used to have to bring him back inside. So we made a turnout pen and he was such a good boy. So he's graduated to the field now. But it's made <laughs> Daisy, can we not eat poo? Thanks. <laughs> so it's mainly just arena sand and we put a hay net up and some water in the day. But none of them are really going out here at the moment because they're all being so good and eating all the grass. So up here we have another little paddock because they are just eating everything. So this is Artie, our baby. He's about six years old and his full name is Artorius. He is the cutest little thing and he's showing so much talent right now for dressage and show jumping so we all have to see. So this is our solarium and wash box. So what a solarium is, I'm going to turn the lights on and bring it down. And what these are are heat lamps. So they're very good for the horse's back. So we put them on before training to help warm up the back of the horse and the muscles. And additionally, it's very good to help them dry in winter when it's a bit cold and it's not as easy. So yeah, we have the solarium up here. We have the tap back here, so this goes hot and cold, which is lucky for the horses so they don't get hosed down with ice water. And just like shampoos, conditioners, etc. and all our little brushes live in here. So here's where we keep the sugar lumps, so the horses get a sugar lump before and after training. And the whips, etc. This is yet another photo wall. <laughs> This is uh, posters from various Europeans, so this was Arezzo, Italy. This one was Poland in 2011. And then this one was France in 2012. So I have done six consecutive Europeans, so there's a few featured up there. This is all the brushes for the wheelbarrows and our shavings, etc. We do need a stock up of these soon. So now I'm going to show you the arena. So in our arena you may have noticed the words written up the side. So any dressage rider should know that these are the dressage scales of training. So we have rhythm, suppleness, contact, impulsion, straightness and collection. And we put these up mainly as a feature wall, but also to remind me when I'm riding that these are the order of what we want. <laughs> and this all together equals cadence. <laughs> we have mirrors in the school too. And these are very helpful for when I'm training alone, not with my trainer, because I can assess my own position, I can see how it looks and therefore make it better. But in our outdoor school, which I'll show you in a minute, we don't have mirrors, so I don't get reliant on them because Anyone who's ridden with mirrors will know it is so easy to get a little bit addicted to just looking like, oh, how, how does it look? So we've not put them outside for that reason, so I don't get reliant. <laughs> Here's my old tack locker from competitions. So I'm going to do a what's in my tack locker vlog soon, so keep your eyes out for that. Here we have our rug dryer, but at the moment we've got some fresh saddle pads drying. Obviously these are... Black heart question. And this is just another storage facility, and this has all our show stuff, our older rugs, things that aren't as much used. So, so yeah, as you can see, there's bits and bobs from competitions like bunting, and there's bikes that we used to take. We have all our old winter rugs, and I think this is yeah, this is one from a competition. You can see that in um, Liam's Great Britain. So this has all the rugs that are not in use every day. Oh, 
Now I'm going to take you outside and show you our outdoor school. So come <laughs> have like the everyday paddocks this is where teddy sunny and billy all go out they do like going out at the same time but they do get very very attached to one another <laughs> mountain block this is very helpful so I don't so I don't have to get on inside and come out I can just lead them out hop on here and then this is our outdoor school <laughs> So this school is 20 by 60 so this is a complete show dressage arena we have the whiteboards up because when you go to a competition whiteboards can scare horses so we have them up so they see them every single day and don't get scared by it but our indoor you may have noticed was a bit smaller it's 20 by 40 so it is good to have two different sizes so you can practice condensing movements and you've not got too much free space this arena is very scary for our horses because as you can see here, we have all the tree line and it's full of birds. They love to fly out as soon as you're going past. And all the trees are on like different levels, so it is quite scary for them. And as you can see, we don't actually have any sides to this arena. So when they are feeling a little bit fresh, it can feel a little bit scary, but very good practice. So this is our little Oakley. This is an amazing little lorry because I can drive it, I don't need my HGB license or anything, and it's very nippy if we need to get the horses out. So we have this just in case anything goes wrong, if we want to go for a show, and this just lives here. As you can see, we have... Go. So that is the end of our stable tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, anything else you'd like to see, please pop it in the comments and do not forget to like and subscribe. Bye guys. <laughs>